So, Cypher 3 here, back here for the second part of the video. The camera um, stopped working again. Uh, battery, I think, died this time. <laughs> Uh, I did actually shoot an awful lot of footage whilst doing this. Um, I've had to cut an awful lot out just because it started to get, starts getting a bit too long when you leave the camera on record for God knows how long. So basically here I am just masking up the side of the car. Just going to heat up the metal before priming it. I believe it helps with the bond, helps to dry it quicker so you can lay down more layers and again it must have cut out so here we are with it primed primed over now this is just a grind and a weld as you can see in some parts it's, uh, it's now going to need the filler now this is a hammer I bought off of Amazon and it's similar to a plenishing hammer this is only a little one if you watch Trev's blog I'll um, put a link in the description below honestly he's a fantastic metal worker guy that does car panels absolutely fantastic so I bought this one for about five six quid I think and rounded it off myself because it's completely flat so as you can see now like here I'm just trying to find the high spots uh, it didn't look too bad earlier did it but now you can see where it's going to need fill in but first of all I need to knock down this high spot so I believe they call this plenishing basically you're whacking it loads of times lightly and you're shrinking the metal in or stretching it so lots of little hits tapping away really does wind the neighbours up this one And as you can see, it's virtually all knocked in. So carburetor cleaner I found is fantastic stuff for quickly moving any body filler that you've uh, two part body filler that you've got on. It really does well at cleaning stuff up camera must have went again here at some point so I've put already on a layer I've gave it a very rough sanding down just marking it out obviously obviously you need to build up the material and layers so you mark it out so you're not slapping on stuff over the top of the other stuff it's just more to sand more money and material so it's probably been about 20 years since I've worked with this stuff, if not, yeah, about 20 years. Probably the age of 20 last time I touched this stuff. Don't you think nothing's changed? So just make sure you've, uh, where you've been wiping it into your mixing thing, that that's all been wiped off and mixed in again. Make sure, like, parts that you use to mix is mixed in. And then cake it on, so to speak. This is quite a relative thick layer I put on here. Now I did start off sanding this by hand and then I thought you know what I've got this little tool here and as long as you keep checking to make sure that you haven't overdone it, it saved an awful lot of time. As you can see, full PPE. Again check and sand, check and sand. I need to mark off a little bit more. I think that's what I'm doing. No, I'm sanding down. This is quite a long process, but you need to do it. And then I've put um, a layer a couple of layers of primer on again this is just going to aid me to find out any high spots or low spots I started this one off by hand um, and then after a little while I quickly move back over to the machine I 
think the better option here would have been if you had a rotary rotary sand, I think is what they tend to use in this raid. Yeah, and don't forget the underneath as well on the sill. Little right down, a quick spray over. And back sanding, looking for high and low spots. Really is a labour of love doing this. So you're looking at more filler, sand, more filler, sand, more filler sand and in between all of that you're checking it obviously using dry sandpaper so to speak not your wet and dry because you've got your filler on at the moment and I believe that absorbs quite a lot of moisture and you don't want that here's my halogen heater again this thing's great apart from it's got an annoying little um, safety switch on the bottom so now I'm doing a bit of wet sand in here um, just I had a couple of little niggly bits that I needed to try and get rid of, try and smooth down. And I tried doing that originally with a bit of just using the primer, the um, high fill primer. But it really wasn't working out, not how I expected. Here I'm uh, grinding the bottom bit. There's an underbody sealant that's sprayed on from the factory that comes slightly up and around the side of the car. And I know I wasn't going to replicate, be able to replicate this myself, so I've kind of had to use a Dremel with a long lead attachment and just kind of like etch in a sort of pattern in there. Kind of should have done this more at the end of it really, because by the time then I've added all these extra primers, I haven't actually got video of this because I was trying to finish it, but I really had to go over this as well after I sprayed on, so there's a layer of primer here, then I sprayed on a layer of black sudow I believe they call it anti-gravel and it, you can paint over it and it stays kind of plasticky and then when I come to re-grind and re-detail these bits later it really was quite good stuff actually kind of was almost like engraving into HDPE you can paint over it as well which is a lot better considering the hammerite stuff you shouldn't or you can't really spray over 